Hey, Facebook friends. I am going to make this really good taco soup. Um, I know some of you guys have had that through the years. I've actually made it a lot through the years. Um, but I'm trying it a little bit different. Um, it's one of our recipes. And um, I bought all this stuff the other day. And I knew that we normally deer hunt on Saturday evenings. So last Saturday we went hunting. And I did not prepare ahead, so we literally got done, and um, we were so hungry. I didn't have anything cooked, so we had to go get something really late. So this Saturday, today, I just thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and make a soup in the crock pot. And waylon has got two buddies that spent a night last night, so we're all going to hunt this afternoon. So we're super excited. So I wanted to go ahead and have a soup in the crock pot, and then, you know, for the boys, I'll make grilled cheese or whatever to go with it. So, um, anyway, I'm excited. So, this is super easy recipe, it looks like. Um, the recipe is actually for two servings. So, that's two people. So, we've got four people. So, what I'm going to do is double this recipe. Um, I normally double my recipes anyway because, you know, you can take it to work the next day or, um, you know, if you wanted some for lunch and even that night, heat you up another bowl. I feel like if you're going to go to all the trouble to get everything, you might as well double the recipe, right? So, this is a this meal is a complete lean and three green. So, that's what we need. Um, so, it's a complete meal. So, I just, I love recipes like that. So, you just put everything together and then you have your complete meal when you get done. So, it asks for, I'm going to try to move you guys up a little bit. Um, it asks for... Um, two cups of low sodium broth but since we're going to double it we're going to do four cups so i've got my little measuring cup and i found out that y'all probably already know this but one can is two cups so there's really no need to measure it i've measured it before so we're going to throw this chicken broth in there i'm actually going to move this all a little closer for you guys. Um, so anyway, maybe that's better. Okay, so here's the other can because like I said, we're going to do four cups. We'll put those over there since we're done with that. And two cups of water. So if we double it, we need four cups of water. So I have this already measured out. I'll put four cups in here. And then one, ooh, one cup of Rotel or roasted, um, I think it was roasted um, tomatoes. So you could use either one. So since I'm going to double it, I think I'm going to use one of each. Um, so this is, oh, it's fire roasted. That's what it is. And they have the best flavor if y'all have never used that. But this is fire roasted diced tomatoes. So I'm going to put one can of that in there. And then, I'm going to do one can of Rotel. Because I love those little green chilies in the Rotel. So, I wanted to use both of those. Okay, now it says one teaspoon of taco seasoning. Okay. So, I have this little pack of taco seasoning. I actually bought a big old uh, bottle of it, but I don't know where the heck I put it. So, we're going to just use this little package. It says one teaspoon of taco seasoning. Since we're doubling it, we're going to do two teaspoons. So, one, two. Okay, and now it says one clove of garlic. And so, one clove of garlic ends up being like a half a teaspoon of um, fresh, like minced garlic. So, since I'm doubling it, I'm going to do one teaspoon of garlic. And I bought this um, at Walmart. <laughs> I normally buy the little, um, you know, those little round glass containers that you just take the lid off. But I saw this and I thought, well, gosh, this looks easier, you know, because you can just squirt it in and you don't have to worry about... 
having to use the spoon and all that stuff to get it in there. So one. And a garlic. Get it all out. Um, now it says 13 ounces. I think we're going to stir this around. Get it all combined. This looks so good already. It smells so good. And now since I'm starting later in the day, it's 2 o'clock. So... We'll probably eat later, you know, after dark. So it'll be a little while. So I'm going to put it on high. I already, I've already actually done that. So I put it on high. So it says it takes about three to four hours on high. Or like six, seven, eight hours on low. So since I didn't get to start it this morning, that's, that's what we're going to do. Put it on high. And it says 13 ounces of raw chicken. So I double that. So what we're going to do is... Put the raw chicken in there. And later on, what we're going to do is shred it. You know, after it's ready, we're going to come back and the chicken will be cooked. And then we're going to just get our... I actually, what I do is get a big spoon, take it out on a plate, shred it with my two forks, and then I put it back in there. Okay, and the last thing, and this is it, is two cups of shredded cabbage. But since we're doubling it, we're going to do four, four cups. Well, here's my little four cup measuring thing. So what I'm going to do is just put four cups four cups Okay. So, um that is it, guys. Like, that's the soup. And I don't know if y'all have ever added cabbage in a soup, um, like in the crock pot, but it is so good. Like, when you get it out, it's just really, really soft and tender. And so, this is it. So, the rest of this little slaw, I'll just save and make like a coleslaw one night. So, that's very simple. And, um... All we do is turn it on. I've got it on high. And then in about four hours, I'm going to come back and I'm going to take the chicken out, shred it, and then I'm going to make a bowl. Um, and then I will come back and show you guys and taste it. Because like I said, this is the first time I've made taco soup, but I've never made this recipe um, because this is like no carbs in there. Um which is awesome because normally the one I would make had like black beans and corn and stuff in it. So this is a different twist on it. So I'm excited. I know I'm going to like it because I've made a lot of soups with the, the cabbage. And I just bought a bag of the shredded cabbage, like the multicolor at Walmart. So I didn't have to grate all that cabbage and stuff like that. You know, anything to simplify our lives is great, right? <laughs> So anyway, I'll come back when it's done, and I'll show you the finished bowl of soup. And um, and also, it said, I forgot to tell you, it's cheese. You need two ounces of shredded cheese. So we would just top the soup with the cheese. So anyway, um, I will get back with y'all uh, later on this evening. Talk to you later. All right, guys, we are back from hunting, and the soup is all finished. Hudson, you want to come in here and be in my video? <laughs> One of uh, Till Whalen's best buddies spent the night, or last night, and they're going to spend the night tonight. So, we're so excited that we get to have them for two nights. And I was trying to think I had two. Okay, that's all the chicken. So, what we're going to do, Hudson, come on over and be in this little video with me. And um, I, I don't know if little Hudson's going to eat this because he's a little bit picky. But all I'm doing now is just shredding this. He's actually a really good cook, aren't you, Hudson? Yeah, I cook sometimes. Yeah. he. Are y'all still ordering those HelloFresh uh, meals? We took a break for a while. Yeah, we did too. But um, I got them on ordering those HelloFresh meals. And he cooked every one of them pretty much, didn't you? Mm-hmm. So... 
I think that's awesome for kids. Um, and it gives you all the directions and everything. So makes it pretty easy. Some of them I felt like were easier than others, but we just shred all this chicken. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it all back in. So glad I did all this earlier. So now what we're going to do is we are going to plate it up. Will you get the shredded cheese out of the fridge, Hudson? I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on here. And this, remember, we double, uh, you double the recipe so it's four servings. Next in June. Yeah, that's fine. So... I like a lot of broth in mine. And the recipe, I'm going to get a little measuring cup. Let me set the plate up over here. I think it was just like, um, I'm just going to do. I'm going to put just a tiny bit on top. All right. So let me get a spoon and we'll give it a try. Edison, do you want to try a little broth or are you sure. scared? <laughs> Let's try it and we'll see how, how it tastes. Oh, yeah. That's really good. And... For the boys, I'm gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches to go with it. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, got a little cut. Yeah, those uh, Rotel tomatoes in there's got a little. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. Well, you guys, now that you have the recipe, step by step, this is a great recipe to do ahead of time, and then when you get home, everything is done, hot and ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you try it, let me know uh, how you liked it and how your family liked it. Talk to you later.